I would like to introduce my colleague and my dear friend, Georgella Muirhead, who has always embodied PRSA, professional values in every facet of her career. From the serving as co-owner of Bird Muirhead and Associate to leveraging relationships for the greater good of the Detroit community. Georgella is known for her never cookie cutting cutter approach to public relation. She has always leveraged her expertise to create unique, memorable events and campaigns to ensure all segments of the community were fairly represented, represented and felt included. During the 13 years that we've worked together, I can personally attest, <laughs> really, that Trajella has been a role model for me and many other professional uh, professionals to follow. I am pleased to present this well-deserved honor, the 2021 PRSA Detroit Hall of Fame Award to my good friend, Georgella. Congratulations. <laughs> been knowing Georgella Muirhead for about 15 years. She was in the middle of her amazing PR career and she had a vast amount of experience working in corporate governmental entities as well as an established business owner with her partner, uh, the late Bob Burke. When we decided to do this public relations agency. It was the first agency where both practitioners came out of municipal government. And so our perspective was very different. The entire agency from the partners on down represented the community that we loved, Detroit. We wanted to be a part of the city. Even though she looked young, we shared that, she was bold. She fought, she fought for a space in public relations not only as a woman, but as an African-American. She always wanted to do things differently and out of the box, and we were always along for the ride. I think the kinds of projects that we did, the kinds of impact that we made, set it up for the next generation of public relations firms that are doing outstanding work. And uh, certainly that includes Van Dyke Horn Public Relations, the agency that bought our agency. Georgella probably would never speak to herself as a pioneer or a role model, but she doesn't have to. Her work speaks for itself. She always maintained the highest level of ethics and practices in public relations. A couple of principles that I have used all my life is that I go to jail for nobody. You have to have principles. You have to have a line in the sand that you personally are not willing to cross no matter what. She has always practiced public relations to the highest level of mastery. I'm just really proud of her and really proud to call her my friend and my mentor. I am so respectful of this industry and the colleagues in this industry. And to think that after all this time, they would think that I was deserving of such an award. I'm just, I'm, I'm just speechless. Congratulations, Georgella, on this most highly esteemed award. I'm so proud of you, and I hope that we can continue to live up to your amazing legacy. Wow. I am greatly humbled and honored to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. I would like to offer my sincerest gratitude to PRSA Detroit for this honor. To me, Detroit's tonight's award validates to me that my career has made a difference in the Detroit public relations community and hopefully in the lives of developing PR practitioners. Almost 45 years ago, as a young practitioner, I joined PRSA Detroit. My objective was simple. I wanted to be a part of a professional organization 
that would embrace me and provide the mentorship and guidance I needed. At one of our first meetings, I met the late Jerry Lundy, a dynamic PR professional. Jerry was exactly the kind of PR pro I wanted to become. Over the years, Jerry, a fellow PR, PRSA Hall of Famer, mentored me through my career, through triumphs and disappointments. He helped me keep each of those achievements and disappointments in perspective. One of the things I most admired about Jerry is that even though he was at the height of his career, he still took the time to mentor me, a young professional, and he continued to mentor me until I became established. Throughout my career, I have tried to be a Jerry Lundy kind of PR practitioner, one that offers a helping hand to the next generation. Today, I extend the challenge to each of you to consider embracing this legacy and offer and assist to those that are following you. Finally, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the people that supported me along the way. First, I will be externally and internally grateful for the friendship of my business partner, the late Bob Berg. Bob and I co-founded Berg Muirhead & Associates and operated it for 20 years. This is an accomplishment that we both are so very proud of. I would like to also thank Van Dyke Horn Public Relations Partners, Peter Van Dyke and Marilyn Horn for this nomination. And I would like to give a shout out to Barbara Bartos, a good friend of mine who also offered an assist in this. To my friend and colleague, Crystal, now APR, thank you for making my career seem so exciting and magical in the video. To my very supportive family, my sons, John and Michael, Mike's wife, Mary, and my amazing grandson, Miles, as well as my siblings, Christine, George, and Darlene, thank you for so much for always being there. And finally, to all the coworkers, former employees, friends, people on the street, anyone who helped me along the way, thank you so very, very much. I am so grateful. And finally, thank you, PRSA Detroit, for this honor. <laughs>